All right, welcome to part three of this 5.3 part series. Um, we're going to be focusing on workshop collections here. So you want to come over to Steam, come over to workshop, and then click browse just right here and come down to collections and then create a collection. Give it a name. I'm going to just give it Trident text collection. You have to really annoyingly pick an image. Um, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'm just gonna pick some random image. Uh, test uh, collection. Um, items that work together. Uh, and then down here you can s uh, select server content normally. Um, and I think that's everything. So you should be able to just click save and continue. Oh, that image is too big. Yikes. Let's shut it up. All right, cool. Uh, now all you want to do is come over to the actual workshop. Well, firstly, um, if you've got any like, well, it will actually list your subscribe items here. So I'm going to add um, advanced dupe just for this test because that allows me to speed things up a little bit. Click save and continue. If you aren't subscribed already to the add-ons that you want, what you can do is just temporarily add something from that list just for ease sake. So you can click the save and continue button that I just clicked and then click this publish button. And then when it's published, you should be able to see whenever you go to any add on under on the Gary's mod uh, workshop. For example, let me look at F spectate here. You can click this add to collection button and then you can just select right here uh, and you can add things quite easily. So you can just remove the item that you added and, and there you go. So I'm going to quickly go back to um, the collection. If I go into collections over here. Uh, there is a way to find your own collections, but I've just totally forgotten how to do that. I'm going to click the back button three times because that's with that. When you're in doubt, just click the back button fucking five times. All right. Here's the collection ID. Um, you can find it in the URL. If you don't have this URL bar on steam, then you can enable it by going to steam settings. And then, um, on the interface page right here, you should have, uh, display steam URL in address bar right here. Just enable that, click OK, and it should pop up. You might need to refresh the page for it to show up, but um, either way, once you've got your collection, as you can see here, I'm going to remove um, advanced dupe from it and just leave X spe F spectate in it. So let me go back to the collection and refresh the page again. So here we go. I'm going to copy this collection ID right here. I'm going to come over to my server and look at these start parameters and then just drop that ID right here. Click update. You should see it appear in the startup line here. Right here. Now we're going to go to console and we're just going to restart the server. Now when the server is starting back up, you should see it start collecting the information on the workshop collection and then start downloading the add-ons. Because there's only one add-on obviously uh, right here. You can see that it just downloaded real quick because this is a really small add-on. However, you can obviously do this process for as many add-ons as you want um, in your collection. And every time your server starts up, it will download the add-ons. One thing that is worth noting is obviously because this is a collection, the add-ons will not appear in your actual add-ons folder. This is good in some cases. If, for example, if you want to like declutter the add-ons folder, but it's bad in other cases in, in terms of the automatic updates. Because in theory, anybody could put a backdoor in any add-on at any point, and that would then be updated onto your server. So you have to balance the risks with the with the, with the uh, advantages, really. But it's a pretty simple tutorial here, um, so I'm going to wrap that up now. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.